Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we will discuss about with the data IKU join recipe. So for join recipe, we need two data sets. Okay, so already we discussed about the orders data set and I have added as another data set called as the customers. If you look into orders data set, so this is the orders data set. Order data set, I have customer ID is there. And if you look into customers data set, in customer ID is available. Okay. Now, if I want to join, I can select with first any one of the data set. I have selected with the customer's data set and join with, select with join recipe. So in this join with, uh, join with keys. Okay. So based on, I select with this join recipe. If I select with the join recipe input data sets. So first, as discussed, we require input data set, two input data sets. First input data set already I selected with customers. Second input data set, I need orders. I have selected with the orders. So output data set is enabled. So by default, customers is joined, okay, and store it here and create recipe. Click on create recipe. So once I select with the, re click on create recipe, here I it will ask as the joins. So if you look into the above two data sets, one is the customers and second one is the orders. So two data sets are joined, but I want to select with which type of join. So left join, inner join, right join, etc. So by default, it will select as the left join. Let's keep it in. Add condition. So what is the condition? So on basis of we need key, right? So both tables, we need key. So we discussed customer ID as the key. So add a condition. So match when all conditions are satisfied. You can select with the condition. By default, match when all conditions are satisfied. And so this customer ID table, this one has the customer table and this one has order table. So here by default, it's selected as customer ID and order date. So that is not match, right? So then select with customer ID. And in this table also, we will select with customer ID. So both tables are selected. So you see the values, customer ID, customer ID. If these values are matching, then it will execute. And normalization parameters. If any case insensitive, case insensitive normalization text, etc., you can ignore it if you want. Or else directly you can add the condition. If you want any other condition also, you can add another condition also here. Let's select with the another condition, gender. And this way, gender is not available. Order ID is there. But in this order ID, in this one, order ID is not available. Okay, let's remove it, this one. In the above, so gender order date is not good, right? So then we can remove this one. Okay, so now I, we have added as customer ID. Then click on OK, the condition. So now condition is to, okay. Now this drop unmatched rows. So whenever the unmatched rows is there, those values we can remove by default, this, these conditions. And if you look into, so replace the data set and add a data set with uh, one more join or also explore which view schema and remove the data set. So these are options. And if you want before joining also, you can apply with the pre-filter. So pre-filter you can select with here, first data set and you can apply the filter and second data set, you can apply the filter here. If you don't want, you can opt the condition. Next, pre-joined computed columns. If any computed columns, you can join here. So join recipe already we given. Then selected columns. So what are all the columns we need? So select all non-conflicting columns or select all columns or manually select columns. So here also I will select with manually. For example, customers table, I want all the table, all the columns. In orders table, I want only, uh, for example, orders date, customer order date. So pages visited not required. And uh, order ID, uh, ID, uh, let's remove this for example. Customer ID already there. So if you need duplicate column, you can select it or else not required. You can unselect t-shirt category, t-shirt price, t-shirt quantity, order date. So these I can select it here, four columns. Then, Post to join computed columns, if any, post filter also, or else if we can go with output. So by default, this is the output. 
So total 10 columns is showing. And here one more thing is prefix. For example, if you want to identify customers columns, columns and identify with orders columns, you can add with the prefix also here. For example, orders, ORD. So if I give ORD, ORD underscore order date, ORD underscore t-shirt category, ORD underscore t-shirt price like that. If you remove by default, all the columns will be mixing. Okay. So then click on run finally. So click on run. Okay, so job is starting. Job is running. Please wait. So this is aborting. So abort, abort means canceling the or truncating or canceling the job. The job is to be aborted. So job is running. Please wait. Yeah. So job succeeded. View details, export, data set, customers joined. So if I go with backflow, see the recipe, customers data set, orders data set. Two are joined with by using join recipe. So customers, two data sets are joined within one minute. Okay, look into this uh, output data set. So customer ID, gender, birth date, user agent, IP address, campaign. So these are all customer details. Okay, so campaign, etc. And order table, order date, t-shirt category, t-shirt price, t-shirt quality. Okay, so 10 columns, total 10,000 rows is showing. If you want a total, how many rows also it will show here. Yeah, 33,861. If you want, you can select with the sample, first records, random records, so options is available. You can apply the filter also. You can select with the filtering, sample filtering or complete. If you want complete records also, it will take. For example, if oh, millions of records is there, so at the time it will show all the data, it's uh, uh, confusion. So that's why the sample is showing. So first 10,000 rows by default. If you want more number of sample also, it will give. Or if you want random uh, records also, it will give. If you want random ratio also, it will give. First records, last records also option. 10,000 records or 1,000 records, whatever the sample you want. So this is the sample. And if you want to first records, click on first records and update sample. So based on that, the update sample also will update. Okay. So this is the joint recipe. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye.